In this video, I'm going to be providing you a full editing tutorial for YouTube Shorts. Now, while there are tons of YouTube Shorts niches, in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on the most foundational niche, which is going to be the commentary niche. And that is simply because there are tons of niches slash sub niches that branch off of this niche. So that way, this tutorial will cover as many niches as possible for basic YouTube Shorts editing. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over everything from finding clips to generating a voiceover and then editing the clip. And it's all going to be done inside the new Movavi video video editor 2026. So let's get straight into it. So step one is going to be finding a clip. Now we're just doing general commentary. The best way to find a clip is going to most likely be from Instagram and TikTok. You can also source clips from other YouTube shorts pages that are already posting that kind of content with viral clips. But I'd like to mix it up and not always just be second to a clip and try and find some of your own ones from TikTok or Instagram for yourselves. Now, of course, the type of clip you're looking for varies from niche to niche. But yeah, for the sake of this video, we're just going to be finding a random viral clip that we're then going to edit over. So before recording this video, I actually found my viral clip. And to be honest with you, I literally found it on accident. I was just on Instagram on the explore page and I saw a pretty funny clip of Mr. Beast getting hit by Mike Tyson. And I thought that would be perfect for this video. So if we come over to my laptop now and take a look, as we can see, this is the clip that I found on Instagram initially. However, what I obviously want is ideally I want it to be in as high quality as possible. And yeah, this isn't the best quality. So then what I went and did is I went over to TikTok to try and find the original clip and I found it on Mr. Beast's page. And I'm simply going to download a clip using a TikTok downloader. And now that we've got our clip downloaded, it's going to take us on to step number two, which is to go ahead and script and then generate a voiceover. Now, when it comes to generating a voiceover, you can do it by recording your own voice if you want to. This is a good option if you have a good microphone. It allows the video to be a little bit more human and it also allows you to have a bit more control on the tonality of the voice. However, as I know most of you guys are going to want to doing this without recording your voice, um, we're just going to be using Eleven Labs for this video, which is an AI voice generator. This is the one that I've always used. I'm sure there are tons of AI voice generators out there and you can use whatever one you want. So with that being said, let's go over to the script making process for this clip. Okay, so I've now created uh, the quick script and I'm I mean, this isn't the best script in the world and to be honest after looking at the clip I realized I probably didn't pick the best clip but I thought I would use it anyways just to show you guys how it would work with any clip so the script is going to go something like this Mr. Beast just got punched by Mike Tyson telling people what is going to happen in the video and what they're going to see to try and hook them in also using Mr. Beast and Mike Tyson's name to help us yeah basically hook viewers in and then I say, you'll never believe why. And this is basically just to hook people in again, like to make them think, I need to watch this video. Like why did Mr. Beast get punched by Mike Tyson? And then I basically made up a fake story. <laughs> so I said, he was at a boxing event in Saudi when he saw Mike Tyson. Mr. Beast thought it would be a good idea to challenge Mike Tyson to knock him down with one punch. And this is how it ended. And then I'm gonna show the end of the clip. That is kind of the basic scripting for this video. If I was actually gonna do this video to post, I'd definitely spend more time on the script. But yeah, this is a nice and simple script and it should work well for this video. So now all what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste this script and then I'm gonna open up 11 Labs. Okay, so once you're in 11 Labs, there is a ton of different things you can do. You can do instant speech. You can also clone your own voice if that is something that you wanted to do. To make things easy, I'm just gonna use instant speech and I'm just gonna use this voice here. You can go through and check a bunch of different voices. This voice, Josh, is a decent enough voice um, for the sake of this video but I do think having a good AI voice and having one that is maybe a bit different from other people can be a really good asset for your page. It almost becomes like a bit of branding for your page when people first swipe onto your video as you get bigger and bigger. They're like, oh, that voice is familiar. I've heard that before. It's this page. I'm gonna stay on and watch it. So anyways, with that being said, once we've got our script, we're just gonna generate it into here. Obviously, we're not speaking it into a microphone ourselves. Um, and then I'm just gonna simply select generate. Once we've generated our voice, listen to it, and we think everything's all good, we're simply just gonna download the voice and then we have everything we need. And now it is time to take everything that we've got and put it together in the Movavi video editor, which is actually the sponsor of today's video. Okay, so now as we can see, we are in the Movavi video editor. We're gonna go on import in the top right and we're gonna press add files and this will open up our files on our computer. And as you can see here, we have our voiceover and also our clip of Mr. Beast. So I'm just gonna import these. In this new Movavi video editor, they just dropped a ton of new features, which makes editing smarter and faster and easier for you beginners out there. So one of the new features in the Movavi video editor is one click silence removal. Okay, so to test this out, I'm just gonna drag and drop the audio file from Eleven Labs with the voiceover into the timeline. And then as you can see, there's a bunch of dead spaces. So what we're gonna do for silence removal is we're just gonna play around with these here. You can choose how you want it to sort of be 
cut. Like how you want the silencers to be cut. So I put 0.1 second and volume threshold to minus 60. And then we're simply just gonna press remove silencers. And as you can see, it has pretty much cut out all of the silencers for us so that we don't have to do it ourselves. We might need to go in and just trim it up a little bit to make it perfect because we want that voiceover to be snappy. But it's done a pretty good job at removing those dead spaces. Now, as well as this feature and the new Movavi video editor, we also have 30 plus automatic subtitle styles. And we'll check these out in a second when we use them in the video. They also have fast effect copying. This one is a huge time saver. If you've adjusted the color or added a visual effect to one clip, you can then copy those settings over to another clip in just one click. So there'll be no more repeating the same edits over and over again. As well as 40 plus adjustable effects. And the thing that I like about their effects is the fact that they are fully customizable. And we'll try some of these in a second in the video editing process. If you guys do go ahead and try Movavi, when you sign up, if you click try Movavi effects for seven days, it'll give you access to over 6,000 creative assets for those seven days. It's a great way to have a bunch of creative assets without having to go to a bunch of different places to get them and bring them into the video editor. Now with all that being said, let's put the video together. Okay, so now we have the voiceover edited and added to the timeline. We're also gonna add the clip of Mr. Beast. I'm just gonna go ahead and mute this clip because for now we don't actually want there to be any volume on this clip we just want to line it up and have the right parts with the voiceover and then maybe we'll add on some overlays or things on top so i'm going to go in and cut this up so that yeah the right parts of the clip are in the right sections and then i'll be back for you guys once i've done that okay right i've basically cut it up i'm probably going to add some more of this clip in but yeah i've tried to have it with a good hook with mr beast like looking shocked um, for the first clip and then we've got a clip where it zooms out of Mr. Beast going like this There's also talking about Mike Tyson and I might zoom into Mr. Beast and Mike Tyson in this section um, As some extra edits and then here I've added a marker because I'm gonna put something to do with a boxing event because that was mentioned in the script And yeah here I'm just gonna fill this with some b-roll clips Okay, so I found a bit of b-roll and this is now what the video is currently looking like um, So yeah, as you can see it's some b-roll for when the voiceover is boxing event Saudi Got the Saudi prince, uh, I believe. And then also, yeah, Mike Tyson. Here, I probably could have gone onto Mr. Beast's channel and got some more relevant clips that were like a bit more engaging of his face zoomed in. But yeah, for this example, I'm not gonna go into that deep into it. So we're just gonna use this as the B-roll for this part of the clip. But if you were doing this yourself, I would highly recommend, yeah, trying to have more cuts like this just to keep the video more engaging. Now we've got our finished bit of B-roll for the video, we're going to want to go ahead and add our auto captions or our auto subtitles. So for this, we're just gonna select the audio that we want to have it detected and we're gonna go ahead and hit generate. And then as you can see, we now have our auto subtitles uh, in the editor and they look pretty good, pretty clean to be honest. I'll probably get rid of the black background. However, as you can see, we do have tons of different styles that we can use. So after looking at a few of the styles, I like this simple outline one. So I'm gonna go and play around with this and make the subtitles look good. And then I'll be back for you guys in a second. Okay, so we've now got our auto captions, as you can see throughout the whole video. We had to make a few adjustments, um, like at the end here, just to make sure like the AI didn't seem to pick up for some reason this part, but that's fine. All you do is you just go in phrases and you add it in. So now we're gonna add some sound effects to make the video a bit more interesting and we're going to go ahead and do that through Movavi's library. Okay so an example of a sound effect that I would use in a video like this for example when I speak about boxing event you just want things that are kind of relevant so very subtly as well shouldn't want them to be too loud but as you can see here a boxing event I've added in like a sort of boxing bell um yeah I just found this effect really quick but yeah this is the sort of thing I'd go and do throughout to make the video a bit more engaging okay then once we've added in our sound effects what I would do lastly is add on some effects so for example one that I might add on here is I might flip this clip or like mirror it on what it'd be like on other video editors um, and that is simply just to try and make sure we bypass any AI system seeing this as a reposted video. We should be fine because we have clips and stuff edited in between. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop this to apply it to this clip so that yeah, it gets reversed and this should allow us to not have any issues getting picked up for copyrighted content or anything like that, for example. And once again, in Movavi, there is tons of built-in effects. So yeah, you guys can go and use which ones you want for your video. Then the last thing to do would be to add in music. Now, for copyright reasons, I'm not gonna add in music for this video. But once again, Movavi do have some built-in music that you guys can try out. I would probably try and use music that maybe say your competitors are using on shorts or things that are somewhat trending in your niche, if it makes sense just a popular background music, but it doesn't really matter too much as long as the music fits the vibe of the video. That is the main thing that we need to make sure we're doing when we're creating these videos. And that is pretty much the editing process done. Like I have mentioned, this is a really dumbed down and like fast version. Of course, if I was gonna do this as a video to post, I'd probably spend a little bit more time trying to make the video as good as possible, add in some extra effects, maybe some pop-ups on screen. But this is just gonna be a basic tutorial for those of you guys that, yeah, just need a little bit of that help creating your first basic videos. So let's take a look at what it looks like when we are done. 
Mr. Beast just got punched by Mike Tyson. You will never believe why. He was at a boxing event in Saudi when he saw Mike Tyson. Mr. Beast thought it would be a good idea to challenge Mike Tyson to knock him down with one punch. And this is how it ended. Okay. okay, so that is pretty much it. So once you've done and you're happy with your video, you're just gonna go ahead and hit export. And then I would set the settings to be high, because you want it to be as high quality as possible. Set it to save wherever, that doesn't really matter. And then yeah, we're pretty much all good to go. We'll just go ahead and press start. This will export, save to our laptop. We'll then take this and we'll upload it to YouTube Shorts uh, or whatever platform we want to post the video on. Now, if you guys want to try out Mavavi for yourself, there'll be a seven day free trial linked in the description so you can test it out with no strings attached. If you want to try out the Mavavi the effects as well then make sure you select that when you are checking out and use code joe for 25 percent off your annual subscription if you do want to be subscribed annually of course and that is exactly how you can create simple youtube shorts using the movavi video editor now if you want to see me grow my own youtube shorts page from scratch then click on this video on screen over here apart from that i hope you all did enjoy and i hope to see you guys in the next one